Hello, everyone. My name is Alex, and uh, today I will present you a joint work with uh, Vincent Cheval, Cass Kramer, Charlie Jacob, Luca Hirschi, and S Steve Kramer on the automated discovery of protocol attacks that exploit hash function weaknesses. So let's start with why do we care about like hashes and security protocols? In modern security protocols, hashes are kind of a ba uh, main bi uh, basic building block like that is spread everywhere. In communication protocols like TLS or SSH, we see hashes. Modern messengers like Signal or Telegram use them. And for cryptocurrencies, they are kind of the main basic building block. So, but when we talk about security protocols, we also uh, think about we need to prove them secure. But how do we prove security protocols with hash functions? We usually assume these hashes that we use in the protocols to be perfect. So maybe you heard of the random oracle model, where you also assume that uh, you have like a, you meet all the perfect uh, desired cryptographic properties, like being collision resistant or being non-invertible, and this holds for both. So this is used both in the computation and in the symbolic setting of analysis, where we often assume that these hash functions are perfect. But as we know, like in practice collisions do exist. So we, we saw already that collisions over time happen to practical or widespread hash function instantiations. And you can see in this lifetime table for like cryptographic popular hash functions that they often start in the, in the green uh, setting where which we see as like strong, so we, we think they are good. And then with like they get here uh, shown as yellow or orange, um, they, they are seen like, okay, they're weakened somehow, and when they are red, some collisions were found. And we see this for all the hash functions, and we also believe that this trend may continue and will continue in the future. And in addition to only collisions, we also saw attacks uh, that are outside of the uh, traditional properties we, we think about when we think of hash functions, like length extension attacks, where if we hash some secret value, we can produce another hash, uh, without knowing the secret that contains the secret and some other arbitrary value. And this was, for example, used to break authentication in the Flickr application. And also in 2016, Bergamin and Laurent found transcript collision attacks on popular communication protocols, um, which enabled them to like hijack sessions or downgrade the protocols. And what uh, we, or what uh, we saw is that most of the time we only can find these attacks manually. So we ask ourselves the question, can we automate this? Can we find these flaws in the protocols automatically? And for this, we thought, okay, automatic analysis, this is a thing we usually uh, relate to the symbolic model of cryptography. There we have tools that help us to automate our security proofs, but also here, the hash functions, the, the way we model them, we assume them to be perfect. So our work uh, focuses on finding like better models to, to capture all the hash function weaknesses uh, we already saw and be able to discover vulnerabilities in protocols automatically. And to, to model those, we used a rather new technical uh, approach to model uh, primitives, which was first done by uh, Jackson and Al in 2019 where we model uh, the hash function as uh, f uh, like an uh, underspecified function or a set of functions, where then the tool can explore all the different functions which we then later on uh, restrict, for example, to forbid uh, the existence of collisions. So what kind of models did we build for hashes? So we started by classifying them into four dimensions. The first being collisions. So we saw like collisions are happening uh, in the real world, so we also modeled those. Um, we modeled length extension and uh, also uh, the output control, so to say, uh, to, to talk about how much uh, power the uh, attacker has over the output of a hash function. And on the other side, if the hash uh, function input is leaked or not by the hash function. And you see, we, we modeled uh, those dimensions as uh, lattices, where in the, from the, uh, when you see at the top, these are kind of the weakest restrictions we place on these functions, and at the bottom, we have the strongest restrictions, and 
uh, indicated by, by the lines, you see that if we, for all the dimension, assume the strongest restrictions, we end up again at the perfect model of hash functions, the random oracle model. And so all the models uh, we build consist of a like, combination between single elements of, of these dimensions. So for example, if we want to find a single collision uh, between two random values and want to model that, then we would choose this configuration. So as a next step, we then uh, implemented uh, our approach in both Tamarin and Proverif, both of them being state-of-the-art tools in the symbolic model to analyze security protocols. But we could not straightforwardly like, implement it, so we had to extend the tools to be able to capture a certain set of our dimensions that talk about uh, the content of what we hash. So uh, we, we saw a problem when we wanted to hash lists or transcripts, which often ha happens in protocols, because we in those tools don't have any operators that are associative. So for example, if we want to talk about like a list or hash a list or like talk about a list in the symbolic model, we often represent them as nested tuples. Um, and if we then would hash a nested tuple, uh, or like a list of three, we could have two different configurations that are unequal in the symbolic model. So we could end up in the analysis uh, missing attacks because some uh, terms would not show it to be equal. So what we did in Tamarin was to implement a new operator that allows us to have this uh, associativity. But uh, the problem was that there was no algorithm to guarantee a finite set uh, of unifiers uh, when actually using them in an actual case study. And this could then potentially lead to the tool uh, like uh, not terminating or like ab aborting. Um, and uh, we, we did implement it by connecting it to the underlying uh, feature of mod, uh, which is used for unification. In Proverif, we took a different approach uh, where we uh, implemented recursive uh, computation functions, which we then define through general extremizations, which is very technical, so I will not go into detail on both of them now. <clears throat> so after implementing it, we then wanted also to conduct case studies and see how our models perform. And so on this, uh, for this part, I will focus on Tamarin. For Proverif, it will be kind of similar. In the Tamarin Prover, you usually have as an input a protocol model. Uh, and this protocol model also contains the security pro uh, properties you want to prove for this protocol. And then you will either get an attack, uh, a proof, or it would not terminate. And we extended it by also uh, um, be, uh, making it possible to uh, provide a library for our hash models, for our hash attack models. And uh, due to the new associative operator, we have another way to, or there would be another way that Tamarin aborts. And we then took a set of protocol models. We built uh, them also in Tamarin and uh, Overif. And then uh, we put in our hash models. And then for each of these protocol models, we automatically construct all combinations uh, of, of the possible uh, um, hash attack models. And uh, if you want to uh, test those models, if you want to reuse them, uh, or just uh, see uh, how they work, uh, we refer you to our implementation, which is uh, made available. And in the end, we then also could refine all the attacks that were reported before, here marked by the crosses. But we were also able to find new attacks on, on, uh, on these protocols uh, with other configurations, uh, here marked by the, the green ticks. And uh, interestingly, due to the use of the symbolic tools, we were also able to find under the same attack model, under the same uh, like attacker capabilities, another version of already previously mentioned uh, or previously known attack, um, which we could only see because we could explore uh, all the tra uh, possible traces in the tool. So to sum it up, we uh, built the first automated methodology to find a large class of attacks uh, uh, while building new symbolic models for hash functions. 
For this, we also extended both Proverif and Temerin and uh, applied it to several case studies where we could automatically find attacks. So if you have any questions, feel free.